guys, Grace Gamer here, and welcome back to another speed build. So, y'all, as you can see, um, it's been two weeks since I have uploaded a speed build. Yeah, I am so sorry. Um, let's just say, okay, I feel like every other builder has felt like this when it comes to The Sims 4. I didn't feel inspired. So I was like, I need to take a break because I didn't feel inspired the first week or last week, last week or the following week. I just did not feel inspired at all. It's not, it's nothing against you guys or anything. I just did like, I just didn't know what to build. And I was like, I don't want to build just anything. And then I don't like it, you know? So, or, you know, I'm like, um, I just don't, <laughs> it just didn't flow with me. So, but I felt inspired, uh, this time and I was like so excited to do this build um I was so impressed with myself with the outside especially the backyard because I did this particular type of featured wall y'all are gonna see it in the screenshots I did a pretty good job on that <laughs> um but yeah very very inspired I was like I really want to do this type of house and I'm just gonna let my you know my videos flow with the sims 4 because of the fact I am coming back with Wizards 101. If you have not seen my past two videos from last week and the following week, I uploaded things from the Sim, from Homestead the Sims 4 of Wizards 101 talking about me coming back, giving you all some like some hypes and everything. And you guys are so cool of giving me some good advice on in the comments section and also on Instagram as well. And so, um, yeah. But y'all, as you guys can see, Starting off in this video, I'm already in the living room. I want to apologize because of the fact I did have a video. I started recording the kitchen, and the formal dining room, and y'all, the lights went out <laughs> when I was recording the speed build. Uh, it was not my fault. It was not my fault. It was not my fault. It's not my fault. It was the storm. I didn't even know we were going to have rain today. It just happened. And I was like, what is this? It was just like thundering. Like God was mad. I don't know what he was mad at. But uh, I was like, wow, it's really, it's really bad. So, yeah, yeah. So I lost literally 15 minutes of footage from the kitchen and the formal dining room. Now, this build, like I said, I found it on, if I did say at the beginning, I probably forgot why my brain just went blank. This is totally a voiceover and pre-recorded video. So I found this on the YouTube. It was a YouTube channel that I found. It was like shipping container homes, floor plans, and stuff like that. Did you have like a play playlist of four plans of container homes and I saw this one I was like that's really cute and I was like oh I love the outside big windows and high ceilings and I was like I think I can do this in the Sims 4 and I did but I was like I want to use a lot of other um some stuff that I've downloaded recently um last week I downloaded um, a lot of stuff from Peacemaker. I watched The Sims Gallery do a particular build of just Peacemaker stuff. And I said, shut the front door. They have, they have rugs. They they have that type of tile in the bathrooms. I was like, it's so pretty. And, mm, and then I saw this cool um, wallpaper like type of tile or something like that. I was like, oh, they have that too? And I was like, when? When did we get this? And I was like, wow, it was right under my nose, right under my nose. Also, they had curtains. And I was like, I'm going to say this. You got to clap for Peacemaker because he, this person, I keep wanting to say he. I feel like it is a he, but I just don't want to be like wrong because sometimes I have been wrong. They did an amazing job on curtains. <laughs> like, thank you. Oh, their curtains are so pretty, precise. I mean, I even used their windows. I used the windows, and I just want to clap. I'm clapping in in silence because beautiful, beautiful windows. So most of the stuff you're going to see is from Peacemaker. Um, also from a couple other um, 
people that I downloaded before I recorded this video, before I even built the uh, built this house, I went on a search for um, more wall art. Also, I think it was mainly just wall art stuff. And oh, and also I got like a cute little toaster that I saw. Um, so Sim Credible, she does an amazing job. She's on the Sims resource. She's um, wow. Y'all saw that artwork in the living room on the wall next to the stairs. Yeah, 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 that's, that's her. So, and then I saw this other wall art that I used in the kids' room. Um, and then also I used some other wall art stuff and also some, well, it's mainly, mainly from Peacemaker. Peacemaker has, like, some cool wallpaper, you guys. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So, but yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wow, 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 wow. So everything will be down in, in the description below for you guys. So, but yeah, I am sorry that you guys won't get a chance to see the build of the, you know, me doing the kitchen or the formal dining room. At first, next to the kitchen, um, I was actually going to do, well, how the floor plan looked, it was supposed to be like a laundry room next to the kitchen. But I was like, that's just, that's just too big. That's just too big for a laundry room. And I was like, let me just put a formal dining room. It will look really nice, like flowing into the dining room. And so it looks like it's separate off from the living room, but I do like it. And um, yeah, I I just like, let's, let's do that instead. Also, the arches going into from one, in, from one hallway to the kitchen are from Peacemaker. I did not know that they made that. I was like, what? I was like, where were you? Because, you know, nothing against the Sims having their own little arches, but sometimes I'm thinking, I want a wide arch, you know, them big arches, because some people's houses have those type of big, wide arches, you know, to walk through, not those little skinny ones. No offense. It's just I and, I and I feel like it's the same arches from The Sims. He's just he just like retouched it to where it looks bigger. And so I'm like, wide. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, yeah. I'm just <laughs> I was like, Ugh. man, got some cool stuff. So, but I kind of went out of my comfort zone a little bit on this, and I kind of like, um, pretty much took a risk in putting that type of wall. Um, paper in the living room of the wood panel that came from Eco Lifestyle. I took a risk with that because I was like, I don't know if that's going to look right because having wood flooring in that wallpaper at the same time, it can clash, but it actually worked, which I was very surprised. It did work. So it worked perfectly. And um, yeah, I was like, when I did it, and after I was done, after I stopped recording, I was like, does this look right? I don't even know. I was like, geez, Louise, like, I don't know if it's going to look right. I was literally saying that the entire time. I was like, I think it looks okay, I think. But, you know, I was like, you know what? Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. So, as you guys can see, I have two bedrooms downstairs and a bathroom a four-piece bathroom with a, you know, a thicker hat. So I was really excited about that. And I had the kids' ba uh, bedroom downstairs. I was going to do a toddler room, but then I was like, mm. I didn't do a lot of custom content searches for toddlers. I know I could have done better um, <laughs> of finding stuff. And I know there's a lot of cu custom content creators that came out with some cool toddler stuff and everything that I could have used. I just... I just didn't take the time to look because I was getting a little bit restless. My eyes were, like, burning because I was, like, my eyes have been looking at custom content literally, like, for two hours straight. So, I was like, I know I need a kind of little break. I need a little break um, with <laughs> looking. And so, what I've just focused on getting custom content was wall art, stuff from Peacemaker, stuff with um, curtains, arches, like, what else? I said wall art. So some of the stuff in the in this bedroom right here has Sim Credibles um, wall art. She does an amazing job. She has a like I said Sims resource. Awesome, awesome. 
So, um, let me see. I think... I think what I do like about it is that most of the stuff is, like, uh, from the people that I usually go to every time, which I do like because sometimes if I find a new person and if they have, like, their own website, sometimes I may have to, sometimes I forget to bookmark stuff. So I have a feeling I may have to do some cleaning of CC. I'm just not sure when I want to do it. (laughs) Because there's some stuff I still don't use or haven't used and... I'm thinking I may have to do some CC cleaning. So, but um, a little mini talk right here before I end the video of what my voiceover. And you guys can just watch the rest of the video and and see the screenshots. Um, As you can see, I have not, if you watched my previous videos, I only talked about my merch store once. The reason why is because of the fact... I'm having a little disclaimer with them um, because they messed up on my shirt. I washed my shirt for the first time when I got it, literally a week after it came because it took long to get here due to COVID. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to promote it on my stream and everything and talk about it and stuff like that. And when I washed it, I actually hand washed it because I wasn't sure how it would do in the washing machine. And my mom's like, well, let's just be safe and sorry then and, and just wash it by hand. I was like, okay. After I washed it by hand, I noticed my face on the shirt, uh, you know, from the widow sheep. She did an amazing job on my cartoon self. It started to come off and I was like, I just got this shirt. So they decided to send me a new shirt. But that wasn't what I asked them in my disclaimer of pretty much, I want to know, like, was there something like a malfunction in the printing or like what? So they just sent me a new shirt. I'm thinking that's not going to solve anything because my problem is, is like, you messed up on my shirt. Like it's coming off and, and I've only had it for a week. So, um, I kind of told my fans on caffeine, uh, don't purchase anything right now with T Public from my store from T Public um, because I'm in a dispute right now and I want to know what's going on. So my sister, my well, my older sister bought something from them from me from from the store. So she got her shirt. I'm gonna see how it turns out. If it's what I'm thinking, if it does the same thing what it what it did to my shirt, then I'm um, I'm actually in the process of getting a sample from another company. It should be here sometime this week or the following week, but y'all know COVID, there's a lot of stuff happening, so I may not get it until maybe next week or maybe even the following week. I may get it the third week of August. I'm not kidding. So, um, but yeah, I have not talked about it. I'm probably not going to talk about it in this, uh, well, I'm talking about it now, but like promoting it and stuff because I want to make sure you guys are getting a good quality shirt. I know not every t-shirt company is the best everybody has their own little issues with one company they may not like this you know or they may not like this company so i know it's going to be nor here nor there so um but i just want y'all to know that because right now I i did not like that and the fact that when i eat want them i'm thinking I may have known that I am the owner of the design, you know what I mean? And so for them that's still not to acknowledge me, it's like kind of like a slap in the face a little bit. That's what my dad said. But I'm just saying, I'm not calling them out, not pointing any fingers at anybody, not pointing fingers, but that's just me. So I just want y'all to know that. So if y'all don't hear me talk about it, it's because I'm in a battle with them right now because I want to make sure you guys are getting a good quality shirt. I can We already know it's going to take a while to get here, to get to y'all's house anyway because of COVID, but I still want y'all to have a good quality shirt to where it's like, look, if you wash it, it still looks good. I mean, I purchased a shirt from my cousin. My cousin is in a band. Well, he's, he's actually in a new band now, but at first he was in an older band. His old band had made t-shirts. That shirt did not start to get run down because of the printing until like six months to almost a year later so my thing is it's I'm, I'm thinking what kind of quality of printing are you guys using for that to happen you know so I'm still learning this business of merch store and stuff and so the merch uh place that I got my sample from 
um it's a it's a different uh direct printing shipping company and so I do like it the fact that I can get crop tops and like uh, hoodie crops and everything I thought it was really cool um so uh hopefully I can see what it does when it comes here like feel the material and stuff like that and with them I actually can make a logo like uh, a cute little logo on my hang tags and stuff like that so that people like whoa like even though it's from this company the fact that I can promote my business how I want to promote it it's really really cool um so yeah I just wanted to say that because I'm not saying that you guys have asked or anything but I wanted to be known if someone did ask I wanted to be known here first so I think I'm gonna start so I'm sick I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys watch the rest of the video I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today uh, again I am sorry about uh, the missing footage of the kitchen and the formal dining room but I do have screenshots for you guys to watch and see of how I did I really did a really I really hope you guys like it I used colors that I've never used before there's some still and I, I know I some on some of my builds I try to play it safe but I do want to bring it out a little bit more to where like I'm not playing it so safe so um yeah like I said hope you guys enjoyed today's video today don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you won't miss another build for me or another video I shall be coming back with another speed build soon once I feel inspired and yeah hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe and yeah bye and I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you Baby up with a slow motion crew And we up in the growlings when people change but not us And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun Could be sold to the skin and the